All right, it's 1201, so let's go ahead and get started today. Uh, thank you again for returning to our training blitz sessions for 2024. We're really excited to have Bonnie from Lolo Gifts here with us today, and she's going to be talking about our program with Lolo Gifts and how you can use it to uh, communicate and keep in touch with your clients. It's a great program. I'm really excited to um, have her here today. Just as a reminder, this session is being recorded, so uh, please keep your microphones and uh, cameras off. Uh, if you have a question at all, just go ahead and hit the raise your hand button or go ahead and type it into chat. Uh, we'll either hold it until we come to a break or we can go ahead and uh, pop in if it's something that needs to be answered right away. We will also have a short Q&A at the end if needed, so you guys can go ahead and ask any questions that you might have. All right, at this point in time, I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to Bonnie and we're going to learn more about Lolo Gifts. Take it away. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for having me join today. I'm going to take a moment to share my screen. All right. Are you able to see that, Kristen? Yes, perfectly. Thank okay. You. Awesome. Well, yeah, thank you so much for letting me join you today. Um, I'm Bonnie. I am the client success coach here at Lolo, and we have partnered with our W Town Realty to offer you access to our local gift of the month program. So today I'm just going to give you some background on who we are, um, an overview of how our program works to help keep you engaged with your network. And then we will talk through how to get set up in your Lolo account and then what to expect as far as sending gifts goes. Um, as Kristen mentioned, there is time at the end for Q&A, so feel free to drop questions in the chat as they pop up, but we will be saving those for the end in case they get answered along the way. Oh, all right. Let me go back. So here at Lolo, we know that finding new leads is exciting, but we also know that over half of buyers and sellers find their agents through existing relationships. So it is super important to be the person that your network is thinking of when they or someone they know has a real estate need. And a great example of what can happen if you don't nurture your network actually comes from one of our co-founders, Clark Harris. So in a 10-year time, time period, Clark purchased three houses from three different agents, all within the same market. You know, he had had a great experience with his first two agents, but they didn't stay in touch after the close. So anytime he had a new real estate need, he ended up just going off of referrals from friends and family. So we know that people say they'll use their agent again, but in reality, that just doesn't always happen. And the biggest reason for this that we have found is that the agent just doesn't stay top of mind in a meaningful way after the close. So we want to make sure this doesn't happen to you. And that's why we created Lolo, which is short for Locals Supporting Locals. Um, our goal is to give you an easy, meaningful way to engage your contacts and build strong relationships uh, while also making a positive impact and building strong relationships in your local business community at the same time. And we do all of this through our Local Gift of the Month program. So with our program, we source a gift from a local independent business in your area every month, and we send it out via email and text message on your behalf to the recipients in your network. So let's take a little bit deeper uh, look at the full Lolo gift process. So step one is to decide who you're going to send the local gift of the month to. Um, your list does not just have to be for clients. It is great for your sphere and potential referral partners as well. Um, this list is endless and it's totally up to you. So you have complete control over your list. You can go in at any time to add people, remove people, update contact information. So as your network grows and changes, so can your list within Lolo. And then you can manually import and manage your contacts straight from within your Lolo dashboard. And we will chat through how to do that here in a little bit. All right, and then because we really are focusing on keeping you top of mind, our system is set up to be single sender exclusive, which means recipients can only receive gifts from a single sender within a market. So once you enroll your contact list, you are the only person who can send them the local gift of the month from Lolo. All right, so then the next step in our process is that Lolo curates the monthly gift. Now, 
We only choose to work with local independent businesses, so no franchises or chains. The average value of gifts that we curate every month is around $8. You might see a gift valued a little higher one month or a little lower um, another, but on average, it comes out to about $8 a month. And we do ask our vendors to pick a specific item or a combination of items that they would like to feature for the monthly gift. So these aren't discounts, you know, these aren't 10% off coupons. These are actual items of value hand selected by our vendor partners. And the goal here is for this to be easy to use and beneficial to everyone involved. And then I just wanted to show you some of our recent gifts just to give you an idea of what it is that we're sending out. So it could be a sandwich, a latte at a local coffee shop, um, a $10 gift card at a local shop. So just a small token of appreciation for your network. And then as far as gift areas go, uh, Chesapeake, Peninsula, and Virginia Beach are our current active areas. Um, we are working to build enrollment in Norfolk, Northeast North Carolina, Portsmouth, and Suffolk. So they are currently receiving gifts from the active areas while we work to get those areas up and running on their own. And then I've also pulled a few testimonials from some of our vendors across the country. So it is really easy sometimes to just think of Lolo as a monthly gift, but you know, one of our biggest goals and founding principles is to help you support local businesses in your community. And we get such great feedback from these partnerships. You know, the overall sentiment is that it is a win-win situation. So um, I just wanted to remind you that with Lolo, we are building those relationships with local businesses as well. All right, so then the next step in the process is that gifts are delivered to your recipients. Again, all of the gifts are digital and they will go out via email and or text message. Emails show up from your own email address. They have your contact information, your branding, your photo inside. And then the text messages come from our short code, but they have your name first and then the name of the local business um, so that it's really easy to identify who's sending the text. And then how your contact receives the gift is entirely based on the information that you enter into our system. So if you have both email address and phone number for someone, they will receive the gift email and the gift text. Um, if you have just one or the other, it's totally fine. That'll just dictate how your contact receives the gift. And then one thing I always like to point out here is either just before or right after your first gift goes out, we highly, highly, highly recommend reaching out to your list to let them know that you've enrolled them in the program. You know, this just helps them know that the gift and text and email, it's not spam. It's not too good to be true. It really is a free gift and it's an extra touch point for you. Um, we've had people see a lot of success lately creating a contact card or a V card using our short code and then sharing that with their contacts. So when the, the gift text comes in, they know what it is. And then you can also post about Lolo on social media or you can write about it in a newsletter and you can give people the option to opt into your gift campaign. Um, this is also a great time to uh, make connections with and highlight the local business for that month as well. All right, so once gifts are delivered, we hope your recipients are feeling appreciated and now you're top of mind for them. Um, quite often you will see people reply to the gift email or reply to the gift text and that is just proof that Lolo is already working and keeping those contacts engaged with you. Um, it's also a great conversation starter that's not related to real estate, which can help deepen those connections even more. And, you know, I was actually talking to a subscriber from our Denver market a couple months ago, and he was saying that um, he was walking down the sidewalk and he heard somebody calling his name and he's looking around, can't figure out who's calling his name. And then he sees that someone has stopped their car in the middle of the street. And they're shouting out the window, Jason, Jason, oh my gosh, thank you so much for the latte gift this month. I loved it so much. That was so sweet. They chatted for a little bit. And then, of course, you know, she needed to be on her way. But he said he went home and he looked in his Lolo account and he was looking through her contact record. She had not even had a chance yet to go out and use that gift, um, but she appreciated it enough to stop traffic to let him know that. So, um, again, it's just another great conversation starter and it's another another great way to engage your contacts. 
All right. So then the gift redemption process itself is super simple. Um, when somebody's ready to use their gift, they will just take their phone with them to the local business, pull up that gift email or text message, click on the link, and then there will be a big button that says use now to redeem. And we do work with all of our vendors to make sure that their teams know what Lolo is and they know how to redeem the gift. And then because it's a digital program, we're tracking metrics for you, but we're also tracking for the local business, which is helpful because at the end of every gift campaign, Lolo takes care of reimbursing the vendor for every gift that was redeemed at full cost. So you're not on the hook for that fee. We take care of it. So this is really a win, win, win situation, right? For the local business, they're getting exposure, hopefully some new faces in the door. Um, for you, you're staying in touch, staying top of mind, staying in flow. And then of course, for your recipients, um, they're not just getting a free gift, but they're also getting exposure to a great local business. And while we're talking about redemptions, I want to make sure I point out that while we love hearing about recipients going out to use the gift, that is really just icing on the cake of the full Lolo campaign. You know, the success of our program really comes from staying top of mind and maintaining those relationships in a meaningful way every month. All right, so then the last part here, because it's a digital program, you can log into your Lolo account at any time to see your current stats. So the first thing you'll see on your dashboard is an engagement score. Um, that's just our success metric for you. So that's the percentage of your contacts that are engaging or interacting with your campaign. Um, and on average, we find that the typical engagement score hangs right around 70% which is helpful to keep in mind because those redemption rates are usually only about three to 5%. So again, it's just another great reminder that it is those interactions, right? The opens, the clicks, the fact that people are seeing your emails and texts every month, that's what really counts. And you know, anybody going out to redeem or use their gift is just an added bonus. Now you can also look at your stats by gift or by an individual contact, which is the view that you see here. So you can go in at any time, click on any of the contacts in your list to see how many interactions they've had for each gift. And then this is also where you can track those redemptions if you are curious. All right, so that's the gift process and how it works. Um, let's chat for a minute about pricing before we dive into how to get your account set up. So you have two options for your Lolo subscription. Um, the first is you can choose a month to month plan with flexible cancellation. For this plan, you will pay a delivery fee of $1.35 per recipient per month. And there is a billing minimum of 25 recipients on all of our accounts. So you can send to fewer than 25 people if you want to, but just know that you will be charged for at least 25 people every month. And then of course the other option here is to choose an annual plan with this plan you will still be billed monthly but you're committing to a full 12 months so the cancellation isn't as flexible and for this option you will pay a dollar 10 per recipient per month and again we still have that minimum of 25 recipients but for either option there are no setup fees there are no additional charges. Again, you're not in charge of paying the vendor back if somebody goes out and uses the gift. You are just paying that $1.35 or $1.10 delivery fee per recipient to get the gift to them every month. Um, this is special pricing thanks to our partnership with your group. So if you were to go to our main website and kind of poke around, you would see a higher monthly price quoted. So um, we're really happy to be able to bring that price down for you. And then I just wanted to give you a little peek into what your group has been up to already with Lolo. Um, we've been partnered with you all since January of 2022. Uh, right now we have 18 active users and we are delivering right around 500 gifts each month. And through our program, we've been able to infuse almost $5,000 back into the local community. So um, I know we're really excited for you to help us continue to grow these numbers. All right, so that's kind of my brief overview on the gift process. And um, let's move on to the nuts and bolts of account setup. So step one, obviously, is to sign up for Lolo and create your account, which you can do uh, through RWT Connect. And Kristen, do you have any more information on this that you'd like to share as far as getting into their accounts before I move on? 
Sure, it's really easy um, with the Lolo gifts. We have activated the button on rwtconnect.com, so you'll find it in your quick link section uh, as soon as you log into RWT Connect. Perfect. So once you do that, you can create your account and get started. And once you've created the account, once you've logged in, you will see your main dashboard view. Um, from here, again, this is where you'll see those success metrics. You'll see contact stats and then um, any active or recent gifts once you've started sending. And you can navigate through your account using the sidebar menu on the left and the drop down menu from uh, your name in the top left hand corner. So once you're in, your next step will be to complete your subscription and uh, add your credit card information. To do this, you can either head to the billing tab in the sidebar, uh, sidebar menu, or you might see a red banner across the top that says activate now, and you can click there as well. This will take you to your billing page where you will see those two subscription options. Um, make sure to select the plan that works best for you and then make sure you check the boxes to agree to the terms and then you'll select add card and start subscription from there you'll see a screen like this pop up where you can now add all of your credit card information and once it's entered make sure you select add card and hit next and now you're an active subscriber um, this billing page is going to be where you can manage your method of payment moving forward um, you can come in here and um, update your subscription if you'd like as well. And then one thing that I do wanna point out is that you will not be charged anything until your first gift is delivered. So um, if you sign in and you feel a little bit nervous about adding your card, don't worry about it. We won't charge you till the first gift goes out. All right, so once you have activated your subscription, the next step is to edit your profile. So to do this, you'll click on your name in the upper left-hand corner and select edit profile from the drop-down menu. From here, you can um, edit your name, your email address, add your phone number, website, and then of course you can upload a photo. Now, all of this profile information will show up within your gift email and on the gift page. So this is a very important step. You wanna make sure that um, it's as personalized and up-to-date as possible so that it's easy to recognize for your recipients. And once you've done this, you'll click save at the bottom of the form. And now you can scroll all the way down below your profile settings to see a preview of how your information will show up in the gift emails. Um, and one thing to keep in mind here is that we generate an example gift randomly from our system, so it won't be the gift you're sending. It's just a way for you to see how it will look. All right, so now that you have your account set up, it is time to import those contacts. So your first step will be to create a spreadsheet with all of your contacts and information. Um, each piece of information needs to be in a separate column and your headers need to look exactly like the headers here. And the nice thing is that our system does include a sample CSV template option, which I'll point out for you in just a minute. So once you've entered all your information, you'll just save your spreadsheet as a CSV file. Um, and one thing to note, we get questions about this a lot. If you have couples on your list, we recommend entering them each as separate contacts using different email addresses or phone numbers so that they can both receive the gift, mostly because you never know where your next referral opportunity might come from. All right, so once your file is ready to go, you will head into the Lolo account and choose my contacts from the sidebar menu. Then you will click import contacts, uh, the big button there on the right hand side. From here, you'll either browse or choose your file and find the CSV that you created, then click upload. After this, you wanna make sure that the columns from your sheet are matching to the correct fields within Lolo. And you can click the drop down to make edits if needed, and then you'll just click next when it looks good. So then you'll just do a final check and take a look at the gift areas being assigned to your contacts, make any edits if needed. And once it looks good, you'll click begin import. The final screen will let you know if any of the contacts couldn't be imported for any reason. And one thing that I always like to point out here is that the Lolo platform does check each contact to make sure that they're not unsubscribed or waitlisted for someone else. So your contacts may remain inactive for a little bit after import, but our system will automatically move them over to active once they've been validated. And then that's it. You should now be able to see all of your contacts in your Lolo dashboard. And remember, you can come in here at any time to add, remove, or edit those contacts. So to recap, step one is to create your account. Step two is to make sure you personalize it and set your profile. 
Then again, activate your subscription by putting a card on file and then get those contacts imported into the system. So now I'm just going to take a minute to chat through what to expect when it's actually time to send the gifts and then share some helpful tips for preparing for delivery. So the gifts for your area are released into your account on the first Monday of every month, and you will receive two notifications from our system. We will send an email a week before the gift is ready, just as a reminder that a gift is coming soon. Um, this is a great time to make any changes to your contact list and, of course, to notify new recipients that they'll be getting a gift from you. And then the second notification pops up in your inbox once the gift has copied into your account for review. So again, on that first Monday of every month, the gifts for the month will show up as a draft in your account. You can find these draft gifts by clicking on my gift campaigns in the sidebar menu. And from there, you will see your draft gifts highlighted in blue. So once a gift shows up into your account, you have 48 hours to come in and make any edits or personalize the gift message that will go out uh, in the gift email. And you can do this by selecting edit. And from there, you can now edit the recipients for that gift, or you can customize the message that goes out with your gift. Um, that piece is totally optional. We always write copy for every gift so that they won't ever send out blank. But again, the option is there for you to customize um, if you wanna be a little bit more hands-on with it. From there, you'll just hit save and preview, and then you can scroll down to preview what the gift email will look like. So then after that 48 hour window, the gifts are automatically sent to your contact list. And now when you click on my gift campaigns in the sidebar menu, you will see a section called active gifts. So now that that gift has been sent, this active gift spot is where you can come back um, to either look at the at look at the main I'm so sorry. Um, this is your main dashboard where you can come back to uh, see the overall engagement score for the gift campaign. Or like I mentioned earlier, you can dive deeper and look at the specific metrics for a specific gift campaign. To do that, you will click the gift name and it will open the campaign overview. So this page will show the engagement overview for any particular gift campaign. So it's showing the number of opens, the number of clicks and redemptions, as well as the number of recipients who may have unsubscribed. Um, you can view the campaign holistically here, or if you'd like, you can dive deeper and view the campaign by specific recipient. Now, if you have any questions about how to get set up or about sending a gift, I do want to point out that we have a great FAQ section right within your dashboard that is very thorough and it should be able to help answer most of your questions. So once you sign up for Lolo and log into your account, you can click on the help and FAQ button from your sidebar menu at any time and a new tab will open that is full of very detailed help articles that cover all of the features of your Lolo account. Um, we also have an amazing support team and you can get in touch with them via the contact us form on our website or um, we have a chat widget on our site or within your Lolo account. And then of course you can always direct questions our way at support at joinlolo.com. Now, I do want to mention that we are planning to roll out some upgrades within the next month or so. So I just wanted to give you a little sneak peek. Um, once we implement the updates, the look of your Lolo account will change, but the functionality will not. So you will, <clears throat> you'll still be able to follow all of the same steps that we just talked about, but now the interface will be a lot cleaner, more streamlined and intuitive with that updated look. All right. So to wrap this up, you know, ultimately with Lolo, <clears throat> it really is the thought that counts, right? You are staying top of mind in a meaningful way every month. Um, it's a great way and a great reason to stay engaged with your network that's not related to real estate. And it helps you strengthen those relationships on a uh, continual basis. And of course, the stronger your relationships, the more chances you'll have for referrals and repeat business. That is it from me. I know I just walked you through quite a bit of information, so um, I'd love to open the floor for any questions that may have popped up for you. If you have any questions at all, feel free to raise your hand or drop it into chat. Didn't see any questions as we went along. Everything was uh, great, very detailed. Perfect. Hopefully we'll um, see lots of signups. Yes, I know, I'm so excited. And like I said, I mean, if you're anything like me, 
I will sit in a webinar and I will just be taking notes and be listening. They ask if you have questions and I'm like, no, I'm good. And then of course, 20 minutes later, I'm like, oh, I do have questions. So like I said, you can always send those to us via email here at support at and um, we're available from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Easter uh, and someone's always available to answer questions, so. Perfect. Well, I don't see any questions from the gallery. Right. Um, so I thank you so much for being here today. Yes, and thank of course. you for introducing Lolo gifts to us. We're really excited about it. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to use that support at joinlolo.com. They've been great to work with for us. Uh, you can also contact us anytime at web support at rwtown.com as well. Uh, we will be happy to help you through there or be able to download your client list uh, to help you get started. So we'll go ahead and wrap up this session for today. Hope